what's up guys i'm back with another football video today and today we will be reviewing the oakley pro visor and here are the so i mean here are the clips right here um i just got this today when i got home from school um this is a speed flex design visor only for the speed flex i mean it's, i mean you could um put it on your other helmets but is specifically designed for the speed flex and my speed flex is right here uh, i got the two bar right here i got the hard couple like the black inside and i got a youth helmet so i got the cam lock the wrap the new little this little system and i got cam lock right here and lost this piece <laughs> But other than that, I don't get this out. Um, here's the box the visor comes in. I got it from Dick's Sporting Goods for $70. Not a bad price um, for something that is only for a helmet. And on the back, they have the little helmet names. I'm gonna put that there so you can read that. So maybe if you ever wanna get a colored or um, an Oakley visor for your speed flex, or they have the Legacy, which is like for like Riddell Speed. Was any other helmet other than a Riddell Speed Flex? So that's it right there. Uh, Oakley Pro Shield, the Oakley NFL players wear this. You can see Kyler Murray, um, Justin Fields with these, but they have the prism, like the tinted one, a little, which NFL has allowed, and. Um, I tried to get one, but our league owner would not let me wear it. So I had a legacy. Don't, I actually don't. It's in my living room. And then I noticed it didn't fit. And then they just, and then they came out with these. So I was like, you know what? I have to get one. And yeah, I got this one. I ordered it on Sunday and it came Thursday. It's supposed to come yesterday, but the mailman screwed up and it's not Dick Sporting Goods' fault. And then here is the bag it comes in. Here are the visor clips I already showed you. You just clip it on to your helmet like, like this. Boom, and then it stays on like that. And then, yeah, here's the bag slash cleaning cloth to like, you know, clean this visor. So let's say, I don't know. I mean, I already have fingerprints all over it because I've been grabbing it. I haven't put it on yet. And We'll clean it real quick and i do have football practice tonight at seven o'clock today so uh, i'm really excited to use it haven't worn a visor in a while so it's going to take some time to get used to but oops you just gotta clean it maybe add water if you really want to but if i were you i mean these are anti-fog visors but i mean they're pretty cool I, li I like it i like the look of visors i mean it's not always about the looks but i mean a couple game a couple weeks ago i got poked in the eye really really bad I, honestly i thought my eye came out so if you want to put your visor in uh if you have big enough hands grab them on the bottom like this and i'm gonna show you how to put it in so what you want to do is put it in the bottom push your chin strap back uh, and then get your mouthpiece, you know, move it. Oop. You know, you get this. And then put it in. And go slow because, remember, these are plastic. You can only beat on these so much, no matter how cheap or expensive or nice these are. Remember, they're plastic because you can only beat on these so much. Uh, let's see. Then you want to put the, you should put, I mean, if I were you, I'd put these on first, but I mean, I kind of forgot. I don't know how. So then you want to do that. Then on the side right here, grab it uh, right here and boom. And then you want to push the visor and then it'll eventually, you know, it'll eventually like meet. So when you're pushing it, can kind of see you know, meet right there. Oops, sorry, I might be getting a bad angle. But, oh, so boom, you'll hear a clicking sound once it meets. Boom, like that, and then boom on the other side. 
Now they're, oh, whoops. Now they're, uh, now they are both should be in. And if not, just push this down. And boom, now they are both in. Uh, sorry, I'm recording on a phone. So sorry, I probably didn't get the angle right. Yeah, there it is. So, they will eventually meet like that. And you hear like a little click, like that, boom. Then what you want to do is, you, once you have the visor clips, you want to um, push it like that. And you want to get your visor clip, and you want to screw it in. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to screw a visor clip if you've ever wore a visor, or if you're just getting a visor. This video should help you, so you just want to pretty much just like screwing something in. I mean, that's what they are, so you just want to screw it in like this. Oop, whoops, wrong way, where did it go? Uh-oh. Oh, it's in, ah, it's inside my helmet. Yeah, found it, all right. So you just want to get it, put it in right here in the little hole. And then you want to screw it like this. Not like this, you can just grab it like this and start, you know, screwing it. So you kind of like, yeah, if I want to, there you go. So they're pretty much a thumb screw. Oh. And boom, once it's tight, once it's tightened to the point where you can't really um, do it anymore, then you're good, it's on. Then you can do the other one next, which is the other one right here. Let's get this on. So same exact, um, same exact thing you did to the other one. Same process. You just want to screw it in. Same exact process. Same thing, we're gonna do the same exact thing for it. And it'll be on, that's it. Um, you're good to go. Your visor is now on. And it should look something like this. And this is the Oakley Pro visor. Fits for the Speed Flex. Now you can see the logo fits way better. Now these clips, I can now use these. I have Under Armour, not Under Armour. Oh yeah, Under Armour clips visor clips but i don't think i'm really going to be using them because now that i have these and they fit for my legacy they actually came with it and i tried using it on my speed flex it did not work but now there's a little gap in there where you can put your mouthpiece if you need to and yeah that's that's it really much that's pretty pretty much and here it is uh one thing um, that you might not like about visors is that it's really hard to breathe if you're not used to it. This is my first time wearing a visor in a while and I'm an O-lineman, I'm a big boy and I struggle a little bit to breathe because I got asthma too. And yeah, but I mean, with your asthma, it helps you get better shape. Uh, this could actually help you a lot, you know, teach you how to control asthma if you have any or control your breathing. So I'm really excited to wear this tonight. And all right. Glasses coming off and helmets going on. Ugh. Ugh. And here it is. This is what it looks like. Um, tighten this. Ooh. And boom. Uh, I like the little Oakley sign. It looks pretty sick. Again, it's not about looks, but I mean, sometimes if you get a colored one, obviously you're going for looks. I love this thing so much. Uh, I haven't got to hitting. I'm already in week four, entering week four already, and I just got this. And man, this thing, right as of right now, it feels so good to have a visor that is clear and without all these scratches on them. And yeah, honestly, you can see pretty good out of it. Obviously, it's clear. And yeah, I mean, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you for, thanks for watching and. Hope you guys, I hope you found this helpful. Sorry this is a 10 minute video, kind of stretched. But 
drop a like subscribe and yeah see ya